If you're on Tee Public, you may have seen collections, and they're usually along the left-hand side. So here's my little fake store that I've got on Tee Public. I have five designs in here, and four of them I'd like to put into a collection. I've got four designs that are funny retirement designs, and then my fifth design is just a comic book design. So I want to put these four into a collection. So here's how you do it. Now, there's really nowhere on a regular storefront that you can see an option to create a collection. However, if you log in to your actual account, what you'll find is it'll look more like this. And so you'll see manage my store at the top. So here I've actually logged into my account and here is my little fake store with my five designs, but I've got an option here to upload a design, manage my albums or sort all designs. So you're going to see this when you go into storefront. So you've logged into T public into your account. You'll go up to my account and then you'll go here to the bottom where it says storefront. And then from here, you can see the manage my store ribbon will now be at the top. So what I'm going to do here is simply manage my albums. Now I don't have any albums yet, but I want to create one. So I'm going to click manage my albums. And then from here, I'm going to click create a new album. It's really the only option available. From here, I can enter my album name. So I'm going to click in funny retirement and I'm going to make the album active, which is its default. And now I'll click create album. When I do that, it's going to ask me which designs to include. So simply clicking the little button here on the top right will allow me to add these. Now it says added to album, but then it disappears. So you kind of have to do it somewhat all at once. If you get distracted, you may not remember. But if you do, if you look away, if there's a squirrel in the window or something, there is a little check marks that do stay active. So if you're not sure if you clicked it or not, you can just simply click it and it'll say removed. Click it again, it'll say added. And then from here, I'll click save album. Now I don't want to click the last one but I'm going to click save album and my four designs now will be inside this album. So from here, I'm going to go to view my storefront, which is on the top right hand side. And when I click view my storefront, now I scroll on down and I can see I have albums sitting here on the left hand side. I have five designs total, but when I click the album itself, the funny retirement, you'll only see four of them. So this is really helpful if you have 200, 300, 1000 designs on Tee Public by clicking the album, only the designs in that album will become visible. If you'd like to delete the album, maybe someday you want to rejig all of your designs, simply go up to the top, click manage my albums. And then from here, you have an option to edit your album or delete your album. If you click edit your album, you can change basically the name and whether or not you'd like to turn it on or off. I'm just going to go back and we can also see here, there's a delete album option. And when I click delete album, It'll say, hey, are you sure you want to delete? This can't be undone. I'll click OK. The album is now gone. And when I go to my storefront, you'll see the album is now removed on the left-hand side. Very straightforward. But if you have a lot of designs, albums can be a really big time saver for both yourself and your customers. Thanks a lot for watching. I do like Tee Public, and I do enjoy making sales on it on my other account. And if you've got a question or a comment about Tee Public, feel free to throw it down in the comments section. Thanks a lot for watching and happy designing.